Benold, nestled in Macoupin County, Illinois, boasts a past as unique as its name, a blend of its founder's initials and first name. Born in 1903, Benold's lifeblood flowed from the rich black seams of coal beneath its soil. Benjamin L. Dorsey, the town's architect, secured both land and mining rights, setting the stage for a vibrant, diverse community forged in the fire of the coal mines. The call of opportunity echoed across the Atlantic, drawing waves of immigrants from Italy, Croatia, Russia, and beyond. These men, and their families, arrived with dreams heavier than their picks, seeking a better life in the American heartland. They built Benold from the ground up, their sweat and sacrifice intertwined with the rising smoke of the mines. Life in Benold pulsed with the rhythm of the pickaxe. Danger lurked in the dark shafts, but camaraderie and resilience illuminated the path. Churches and halls resonated with languages from Europe, while saloons offered a dubious escape from the grime and dust. Prohibition threw a veil of lawlessness over the town, whispers of Al Capone's bootlegging empire adding a touch of notoriety. But Benold was more than just coal and saloons. A vibrant cultural tapestry woven from traditions both old and new adorned the town. Festivals brought the scent of exotic spices, music filled the air, and families celebrated life under the watchful gaze of the Holy Dormition, a Russian Orthodox church that stood as a testament to their roots. Yet, no coal seam lasts forever. As the mines bled dry, Benold faced an uncertain future. The exodus began, families seeking greener pastures beyond the dimming mine lamps. Benold shrunk, its streets echoing with the ghosts of yesterday. Today, Benold stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people. Though quieter, the town holds on to its heritage, cherishing the stories etched in the faces of its remaining residents. The legend of Capone still whispers through the taverns, while museums preserve the memories of the miners who carved Benold from the earth.